welcome to the sociology bridge course or foundation course now we have uh, last week spoken about how culture is influencing the personality of the individual so if you go for uh, this just to study how people are selecting their bride or bridegroom okay for example in case of marriage first they see what they see whether the family is a good family or not why they should see whether the family is good family should be good that is the number one priority okay the good looking that is not at all going to come in this top 10 important factors to decide who should marry whom why should they see the family not the girl or the boy when it comes to marriage because if the family is a good family the boy or the girl coming from the family will be invariably good okay so that is why in case of marriage especially in case of the indian marriage the first thing they see in marriage is familial compatibility not individual beauty the boy will cry literally i know a boy was crying literally that he will not marry this particular girl because according to this boy the girl is not good looking but no point of the boy will be taken into consideration that the family was pestering the boy and he agreed for marriage after two years when i asked him whether you he had the old uh, perception he said that see what my parents told that is right beauty is not important this girl whom i married is a very very nice girl if not beautiful girl she is a very nice girl because he got married he got children then only life will run otherwise what will happen right to life will be violated article 21 will be violated at home so he is adjusting when you go to the village even today you have this thing that when the boy is a little bit rugged type as you say no rugged type of boy how to tame the boy you know how to tame the boy marriage for example umba setup pandra ona enna pannala kaal kattu potrano kaal kattu marriage is called kaal kattu tying the leg marriage is a rope which will tie the leg of the boy he will become nice so we have in jalli kattu taming the bull marriage is taming the boy like a lion he would be earlier like a tiger he will be earlier after marriage he will become a cat now how this is happening you should understand that the rugged type of personality is becoming a very soft type of personality because of marriage because of family because of social institutions so what is the reason for this transition in the personality personality means what normally we say that personality means good looking personality is not about a physical beauty personality is about your inner self that is what is personality so personality is nothing but self personality means self this self is created when the child is born when the child is born the newborn infant does not have a sense of self 
the newborn infant does not have a sense of self. Over a period of time, when it grows, when it starts interacting with the mother, father, it started developing the concept of self. So, child will be a part of the whole called mother. That is why you can see this when a one year old child seeing mother crying, this child also will cry. When I said this in the last batch, one student was telling, sir, I am now 30 plus. Even now when my, my mother cries, I cry. So this uh, self uh, was a part of the mother. The concept of distinct self or separate self has not emerged for the child. That is why when the mother is moving away from the child, the child cries. When the mother is near to the child, the child doesn't cry. Okay. But when the child becomes 2 year old, 3 year old, 4 year old, it started developing language and all. It started communicating with the parents. And now the child will do something which is different from what parents wanted. Parents would say, keep quiet, the child will not. Child will directly do something which is opposite to what is told by parents. A mother was telling to the child that you are becoming very naughty. You have to be put in the school. That mother took the child to the school pre-KG. Now before going, before going to the classroom, the mother is advising to the child, see this is not our house. And the teacher is not like me. So whatever monkey job you are doing in the house, don't do that here in the school. The child goes, sees that teacher is different, my mother is different, the school is different, my home is different. So it tries to get adjusted to the environment in the school. Earlier and all, if the child is naughty, to tame the child, school. Now, the child should become IAS officer. For knowledge purpose, they are putting the child in the school. We are teaching IAS course for whom you know, 8th standard, 9th standard school children. In one of the reputed schools of Tamil Nadu, we are teaching nearby only. So when we go, we'll, it, will, it is very interesting for us that when we enter the classroom, all the children in the 8th and 9th, they will stand up and say good morning or good afternoon. I have not seen so far 18 years of my experience in teaching over. I have not seen anyone when I come that they stand up and say good morning or good evening or whatever. Because this is not that. That is different, this is different. Supposing that you are a school child, you will stand up when you see the teacher and you will say good morning. When that child is coming here, it will sit like you. So it is the environment which is shaping my self. When I am put in this place, I will be like this. When I am put in that place, I will be like that. There is a process of learning what we have to do, what we should not do in a particular situation. The name of the process is socialization. Socialization is a process of learning the culture in general. Process of learning the culture in general. Socialization is the process of learning culture in general. 
culture simply means what culture means everything there is one sociologist his name is makaiver makaiver says culture is what we are civilization is what we have okay this is an essay question asked in last year it is an essay question i told that sociology students will be able to score good in essay because two essays directly will come from sociology 250 marks essay will be taken care of when you read a sociology right culture means what it means everything culture means everything my language is a part of culture my religion is a part of culture my dress is a culture my food is a culture everything is culture so culture includes everything it includes beliefs it includes norms and many other things knowledge it includes everything see we believe in hindu culture people believe that you make sins after sins when you go from one stage to the other stage there are four ashramas Brahmacharya, first stage. Grihastha, second stage. Vanaprastha, third stage. Sanyasa, fourth stage. Sanyasa. You are in which stage now? Brahmacharya. During this stage called Brahmacharya, what you are supposed to do? You should learn. You should start earning money. Once you start earning money, you have to create your own family, which is why normally they speak about marriage only when you get your job. When son is getting a job, next thing what parents would do, the first month salary he will get, no, they are very comfortable with the boy, they are happy and they will search for the girl. So once you start earning, you go to Grihastha, Griha means house. You should create your own house, which means you have to marry, you have to produce children. Then you have to rear the children, you have to discipline the children, you have to give some whatever is needed to the children. Now your family role is over, you have to go. One day you have to go. Where to go? There is one saying, normally they used to say this in Tamil, it goes like this. Card Vavan Soladi, weed po pon soladi. It says, the forest says, come, come, and the house says, go, go. So you have to leave the house, go to forest. Vanam, Vanam, Vana Prastha, forest, wander in the forest. Okay. Then, sannyasa, life comes to an end, title that uh, end card is put, end, the end. You will be surprised to know how people, how people in sannyasa is coming to Grihastha. Some guardmen who claim that they have achieved sannyasa, now they are coming to grihastha. You know what I am saying? His Holiness, the creator of 
the divine land called Kailasha. His Holiness Swami Nidhyananda. Sanyasa Grihastha. Right? So this is one way, not a two way. You should understand when you go to the next level, go, don't come back to the previous level. Buddha. Buddha, what he did, you know? He has his wife. He has his son. Son name is? What is the name of the son of Gautama Buddha? What is the name? When I asked this question in the earlier batch, one student was telling, what is the wife name, sir? Terilapa. <laughs> I don't know. Somewhere I told Siddhartha or what? Siddhartha. Siddhartha I think. Okay. So wife and son, they are sleeping. Buddha left without telling. Morning they woke up and they were searching for where is Buddha? Where is Buddha? Buddha is no more present. Gautama went. Wife is crying for husband and son is crying for father. Event. Buddha's brother Ananda is Buddha's disciple himself. Brother turned disciple Ananda. Okay. Now, after so many years, Buddha wanted to go to see his wife. He is telling to Ananda that I wanted to go and see my wife. Ananda was asking, I will also come with you. Buddha says no. Ananda was asking Buddha, why you left your wife and son without telling? You would have informed. I am leaving. At least you should have given WhatsApp message that I am leaving or mail. Some form of communication you should have given. All now telegram channel. I am leaving. Don't search me. Like that you should give. Why you didn't give? See, I have no courage to tell my wife and son that I am permanently leaving both of you. Buddha who is a divine creation, who is a product of the divine Revelation is not able to control his emotion. So emotions cannot be controlled by you. He says, I don't have that mental courage to tell my wife that don't search me and my son that I am leaving you. That is typical what? Vanaprastha Sanyasa. He came to see his wife now as a Sanyasi, not as a Samsari. As a Sanyasi. But what about some Godwin? Okay. So, customs. Society's habits is customs. Your habit is what? Your individual habit. Sir, daily 8 o'clock when you wake up. That is your habit. 8 times I eat food. Habit. At the individual level, it is habit. At the societal level, the entire society is having a habit. No, that is what is called as customs. For example, in your group, in your group, if death happens, they will cremate the person. In a group, when the death happens, they will burn the person. Whether to take the person to cremation or to burn the person, or to leave the dead body like that and go, vulture will come and eat the dead body. Which community it is? Which community will leave the, leave the dead body in the graveyard and go? Jain community. Parsis, Parsis, not Jain. Parsi community. That is why when Diclofenac issue came, what is Diclofenac? The vulture will eat Diclofenac and it will die. 
vulture will have to come and eat the dead body and that is what the custom in the parsi community vulture died before the individual died vulture died then who will eat the dead body of the individual vulture died that is why they banned this diclofenac right So they have a custom that they put the dead body and they go, but vulture is not coming because vulture itself has died. Dead body, how it will decompose? How it will get cleared? So that community, that way, this community, this way, there was a practice of sati before many years that the husband dies, the wife will jump into the fire along with the husband and die. Customs, a habit. They don't ask the women, are you ready to die along with husband? They don't give choice. She has internalized that. She will jump into the fire with the expectation of the entire community. They will be expecting when she will go and jump into the fire. When she is jumping into the fire, finish, they go. Customs. Who told you in Hindu marriage? The boy will tie thali around the neck of the girl and they will put how many knots? Three. Why? One person told I, I, I'm, I love this girl so much that six knots I will put. He told, told this to his father it seems. Father told marriage will be cancelled. He threatened that boy. Ah, six knot because and the knot should be very strong. Yeah, why? Three means three, then I am IAS officer, extra 10. I am IPS 25. The girl is IPS officer. The boy is unemployed. The marriage is taking place. Now, who will tie the tali around the neck of the who? Boy. IPS will put the head down. Or she will say, you unemployed fellow, I am IPS officer. I cleared the examination after writing this prelims and all. It is easy to clear mains, but very difficult to clear prelims nowadays. Did you know how question paper was? Yesterday's question paper. Ah, only uh, we have put uh, this uh, one uh, photo we have put. No. Finished. What is, what is finished? Elimination is over. YouTube teachers, elimination technique, pay 100, pay 1000, pay, gone. So, there are certain things which we practice as a society. So, the practice of the society or the habits of the society is called as customs. Knowledge. For example, marriage is needed, then only you can go to moksha. Hindu concept of life is what? You have to get married. Why people, when the girl is of this age, when the boy is of this age, parents are very obsessed with this concept of marriage. Father will yearn throughout this life only to spend that money, whole money which he has yearned throughout his life, that, that is to spend on the day of marriage. Your father was telling, sir, I started earning from 15 years of age. Today I am 65. 50 years of earning I have kept in bank. For what, sir? For buying property? No. For spending for my daughter's wedding. After the marriage has happened for the girl child, you go and ask the parents. They will feel as if they have done their duty and nothing is left for them. The girl's parents' mentality after the marriage of the girl is like this. Salvation. Salvation for the girl's parents. What about the boy who got married? Grihastha. Then, Vanaprastha, Poirva, 
காட்டுக்கு போயிடுவோம் knowledge about life knowledge about marriage knowledge about religion knowledge about uh, the economy everything is culture bound there is one tribal group called as hopi indians see these people they believe that magic will save them from life threats magic will save them from life threats they are fishing community they go for deep sea fishing right they go for deep sea fishing they don't have the sophisticated uh, boat and all so your tide will come your tidal wave will come your Uh, you know wave uh, sea wave will come that the ba- boat will capsize and they may die okay there is huge risk if they go for deep sea fishing life is not guaranteed so when life is not guaranteed and you are taking risk what happens insecurity feeling will come anxiety will come and that is the reason why people who are preparing for ips or ias examination is having full anxiety because result is not known there is ga- no guarantee of life for hopi indians there is no guarantee of success for civil service aspirant so every civil service aspirant has the same mentality like hopi indian going for deep sea fishing and that hopi indian also will go for shallow water fishing they'll go fish in the pond which is lying nearby where magic and all they'll not do because the catch is guaranteed so wherever the catch is guaranteed there and all no insecurity no insecurity wherever the catch is not guaranteed there is so much of anxiety and that explains why upsc aspirants are facing more anxiety than a person who is only preparing for his computer science engineering he will get a job at least get a entry operator and tell that i am it engineer that is different story but you prelims mains interview something happens badly in mains or interview again prelims mains interview prelims mains interview insecurity feeling comes or not so that is why uh, some students came to see me the day before prelims examination to take my wishes they came all of them have put uh, the sacred ash the bhuti on the forehead directly coming from the temple invariably everybody is also having a bunch of this this much of vibhuti tomorrow one says not only putting on forehead but also putting into the mouth because if you put a here it gives you your power you eat that you become you become supremely powerful ordinary will become extraordinary by eating sacred ash that is why you go go to temple along with your parents what your parents will do you know you carefully see the priest will give uh, vibhuti one boy was putting the kumkum into the mouth gurugumba rendu seethu kuduttaru both vibhuti and kumkum were given simultaneously by the priest and that boy put into the mouth and seeing the mother because that mother trained this boy like that then priest is giving you something put into the mouth he put that thing so you are going to do magic you are hopi indians you are doing i am sorry not hopi indians strawberry anders this is another story i am speaking about strawberry anders not hopi indian that is another story strawberry anders there is an island a strawberry and islands strawberry anders or strawberry strawberry and islanders they are fishing community they go to deep sea fishing and when the catch is not guaranteed they when they go to deep sea fishing catch is not guaranteed they feel insecure and therefore they do magic okay they believe that when i do magic the magician will do some magic their life will be guaranteed they'll get a huge catch 
So if you are belonging to this group called Trobrianders, you believe that magic will solve your problem. And there are some people here also believe that magic will solve their problems. You know about black magic? Black magic. One person is studying so much, you feel that that person is a very big uh, obstacle for your success in civil service examination. You can do black magic. On the day of examination, his hand will not work. Hand will not move. Or he wanted to shade B, it will be E will shade C. That is not true actually, but that is your belief. You believe. Even today in village and all they used to tell. One student's grandfather was telling, somebody kept black magic, that is why you are not able to clear prelims examination for the last seven years. And he is telling one person in his family who doesn't like the upward mobility of the family members. He is having so much of grudge against his grandfather, it seems. Very jealous fellow in the family, it seems. He is keeping black magic. That is why you are not able to clear the problems. This student didn't clear the problems because he didn't study properly. They went to some priest and all. They turned that black magic to that person. You can turn that to the source, no. And he charged heavily, it seems, 20,000, 30,000 he has taken. Whatever he has done to you, double the time it will go to him. Grandfather says, that is what we have to do. Whether you clear exam or not, that fellow should go. The story should finish. What is this? It is your knowledge. See, the question is not about knowledge, is scientific knowledge or not. Knowledge means what? No. What I know may be scientific, what I know may not be scientific. That is a different story. But I know. Hopi Indians. Now, story comes. Hopi Indians, they believe that if they dance together in the group, rain will come. So, they involve in a ceremony called as rain dance ceremony. Rain dance. They involve in a rain dance ceremony. They believe that if we are dancing together, rain will come. Similarly, soliciting rain, even today, villagers, they collectively worship before the local deity. Asking rain god to shower rain, the entire group of villagers will stand in front of the local deity. They will pray God, we wanted rain, crop should grow. Famine only, famine then only will go. Our life will grow. You, you pray to God, collective prayer is having some effect, we are told to tell. I even thought of this, that uh, we will conduct a collective prayer just uh, two days before prelims examination. Somehow I could not uh, make that happen. Next year we, we, may, we may plan. Come, we will together do collective worship. My only concern is that many students will not go. After that worship is over, they will stay there only. Because when you go to your room, you fear about the exam. Belief. This is that is your belief. I wear my shirt which is blue color, go to the exam, I clear the exam, my own belief. No, you don't question that. Don't question that because that is my belief. I believe. I believe that when I go to this temple, thereafter take up my exam, I will pass the exam. My belief, what is your problem? That is my belief. Now you come with science, Newton's law, Einstein's law. You come and tell that no such a thing. Who told? When Einstein told 100 years back, 1917, he told there is something called as what? God's particle. Everybody criticizes you. Are you a scientist who says God, concept of God, 2017, okay, 2017, 100 years over, the entire scientific community accepted what he said 100 years back, which is why Einstein is great. 
because you told something which was acceptable only for people who came 100 years after you. How much visionary you are? 2017, the scientific community accepted. Yes, there is something called as God's party. So, belief may come from science. Belief may come from religion. You don't question my religious belief using your scientific logic. I will not question your scientific belief using my religious logic. You stay where you have to stay. I will stay where I will stay. Sometimes we will both come together. When there is a need be, like in examination, UPSC examination, you go to temple, you go to UPSC exam also. You study, you go to temple. So beliefs, two types of beliefs. One is scientific belief, another is religious belief. Society tells you what belief you have to have. Everybody is told to believe that your parents are the best parents. You ask anyone. When we were school goers, we told that our parents are the best parents in the world. When you went to college, you changed that opinion or not. Maybe I should have born in some other house. Unlucky fellow born in this house. We told this. You know, when you cross 40 years of age, you will go back to your old thinking. My parents are best. So, keeps changing. Beliefs also keeps changing. It is not that it is like a, uh, a rock in the Yes, a, a stone in the well, inside the well, which will not be unaltered. It will be changing. Everything changes. When the first restaurant was started, people laughed at this person who owned the, started the first restaurant. What are you going to do with this restaurant? I'm going to sell food. You are selling food. Who will be takers? And everybody is preparing food in their house. Who will come to eat in your food? Who will come to eat in your restaurant? He had no answer, but today food industry is the most growing industry, especially during Corona times. Every industry fell except this food industry. Food industry doubled, tripled their growth rate. Man started consuming more after Corona. Because the doctors insisted, you have to develop so much of the system, eat this, eat that. We ate everything. The only place which was not having any holiday was kitchen for us. So, knowledge comes from society. You go to some places like uh, Palani, where this uh, Subramaniya temple uh, is there. People used to pierce a big uh, uh, thing, veil, into this and they'll use, it will pierce here and it will come here. I just saw this with my own eyes when I went to one temple festival two months back in my grandfather's place. There was a local temple festival and they called me, come, 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 you come and see this. Uh, after having studied the sociology, I wanted to see this from sociological dimension. The head priest came and he was piercing that uh, veil in, here, from here to here. Okay, this is seven feet. Here to here it is. Not even a single drop of blood came. When a small, when, when a pin is piercing you, drops of blood will come. But such a big thing, he is putting from here, taking it out here, nothing happens. And I thought that he will be permanently disabled. Two days only he was having some sort of pain. After that he became normal. How it happens? After they have taken that out, they are putting that uh, vibhuti onto that, like this. My God. Your doctor says that uh, it will be, uh, create problems. You will get some infection through this. Nothing happens to this boy. Belief system. Influencing their practice. Some students have gone to Tirupati after the examination was over. 
because they believe that after going to tirupati and tonsuring their head they'll clear prelims exam believe can you laugh at this no they don't believe what is your problem so culture is about everything what we are what i am who i am culture civilization is what we have so when macaiver says culture is what we are civilization is what we have civilization means some material things culture means some non material things who has given the concept of cultural lag material culture changes very fastly non material culture changes very slowly and this is what is called as cultural lag who said this uh, william ogburn so culture is non material according to macaiver whereas civilization is material the palace you have the building you have the physical things you have all these things will come under civilization okay so your mind your knowledge your belief all these things will come under culture agban says no culture itself has two components one is material culture another is non material culture but macaiver says no no culture means non material if you wanted to tell something material it should be called a civilization and this was essay question last year so culture is learned by you through the process called as culture is learned by you through the process called as socialization learning of culture is this learning of culture ongoing or it will be like a 10th or 12th there is a fixed time period you learn after that you come out of the school after a fixed period you come out of the college is it like a time bound thing or it is lifelong process yes socialization is a lifelong process it starts with the birth of the individual it ends with the death of the individual it starts with the birth of the individual it dies with the death of the individual lifelong process so lifelong you are learning the culture the process of learning of the culture lifelong is called as socialization so somebody should teach you then only you will learn i am teaching you sociology now you learn that who is the teacher of culture who is the teacher of culture hmm? who teaches you culture society means you have here society in which one uh, crore people are there where whether all will come and teach you culture now who are going to teach you culture teacher of culture is who teacher of culture they should be called as socializing agents they should be called as socializing agents the teacher of culture first parents teachers and who your friends peer group all the three are called as primary socializing agents so you come to know about culture of the society through family through teachers and through peers that is why people put you in school not because you love to learn science max and all they put you in the school because you will learn what the culture is so they are the one who will definitely make a deeper impact in your learning process because of that you when you develop your personality deep imprint of them will be there in your personality deep imprint will be there so that is why parents teachers and friends they are very very important parents you can't choose if we, we if we were to choose then we should have chosen mukesh ambani antilia will come to us 8000 12500 crore house 
So you don't have choice to choose your parents. You have a choice to choose your teachers, but that too, you don't have because when you are small child, your teacher will be chosen by your parents only. Now only one you have a choice to choose, that is your friends. So have you ever experienced this situation that your mother would have invited your friends to your house? Your mother says, when I was doing my third standard, my mother was asking, because we used to tell the name of our friends, close friends in the house many times. Right? Ramu told this. Shyam told this. Ram told this. Shyam told this. Mother comes to that Ram and Shyam are very close friends of this son. One day my mother says that you take them from the school. Let them have snacks in our house today. Or maybe Sunday you invite them for a lunch. So my mother was preparing lunch and she was serving my friends. It is not about she wanted to give food to my friends. It is that she wanted to know who my friends are. Are they good persons or bad persons? Then after they went, she told that don't have too much of talk with Shyam. Why? Like a monkey is jumping from this place to that place. No. Ram, very nice fellow. Talk to him only. Don't talk to Shyam. So, parents also have an eye on your friends, but friends are chosen by you. So, if your friends are bad, you will end up bad. That is why if you want to know about you, if you wanted to know about, if I wanted to know about you, I should first know about your friends. So, they will definitely influence you. These people will influence you. Parents definitely will influence you. And when Dr. Abdul Kalam was asked this question, Sir, you are the president of India. You are the first citizen of this country. When you come to your place, everybody will stand in front of you when you come to your place because you come number one in the protocol table of presidents. Now you are in the president's chair. Somebody is coming to your office. You will not stand up. Because you are president of India, you will not stand up. Supposing that there is one person who is coming to see you in the presidential office and you are going to stand. Who is that person? The interviewer expected that Kalam will, sell, uh, will say, my father, my mother like that. He immediately told my teacher. My teacher, Siva Subramanian, Siva Subramanian Iyer, he is the person in front of whom I will not sit. First, I am a student of this teacher, then only I am the president of this country. Because when he was being taught science by his teacher, Siva Subramanian, Students did not understand when the teacher was teaching how birds are flying. When he found that students are not able to understand this phenomena of flying, he took all these students to Rameshwaram. Rameshwaram is the place where Kalam was born and he was doing his school days. He took all these school students to the coastal area and he was showing the sight of a bird flying, how it is moving its wings so that it is flying. He explained that process and that was stoking fire in the mind of Kalam with the help of which he wrote wings of fire. How flight was flying, I came to know about my, this knowledge about how flight is flying through my teacher. That is why I aspire to become a wing commander, a pilot in the Air Force. But I could not. I got, uh, you know, rejected in the 
final round. So much disappointed I was. I came back crying, crying, crying because I could not become the flight, uh, uh, you know, wing commander. My dream job. Later day, I became the supreme commander of all the three armed forces. So who gave me this? My teacher. So that is why he keeps on, he kept on insisting the children that you should respect your teacher. So teachers are very important, friends are very important, parents are very important to create your personality. The daughter is like a, the mother. Whatever mother is, that is what is daughter. So if you can see the mindset of the mother, you can very well predict the mindset of the daughter. People may tell you that how you walk, it is like your father. How you speak, it is like your father. They would have told you, no. It is not just because of the genetic similarity we share with our parents that we do what they are doing. It is because we have been reared by parents in that way. You are born in a vegetarian family. You have been taught that how sinful it is to eat non-vegetarian food. So even when you go to China, you stick on to vegetarian diet. I know a friend of mine who was going to China for a project work. He has to stay there for 20 days. You know, he is a pure vegetarian because he belongs to a vegetarian family. His mother gave so much of vegetarian uh, food which can be uh, taken for 20 days. He went there. But what happened? It was not sufficient. 15 days only it came. Five days he has to starve. Sixteenth day, when the food got exhausted, he went to a restaurant. He saw that people are busily eating fried rice and the special item in that particular restaurant was cockroach fry. Fried rice with cockroach fry was one of the delicious dish which was sold at that time. In that particular restaurant, it seems he saw that and he ran. Called his general manager, there I am going to come to India because my food is food is not there, food got exhausted. He says, You eat something. No, no, I cannot eat. You'll be fired from the project. Doesn't matter at all for me. I'll resign, I'll go. He came. He did not eat non-vegetarian food. He starved. He risked his job. Why? Because his family has taught him that vegetarian food is the best food. Non-vegetarian food, if you eat, you are a murderer. So our parents, our family influence the food which we take. The family influence the dress which we wear. Family influence the language which we speak. Family influences the religion we practice. Everything is mentally conditioned by the family. So, I learn about the culture of my group through my parents, my teachers and friends through the process called as socialization. So, through socialization, I develop my personality. Through socialization, I become myself. I even told you Kamala Vimala reared. Last class I told or not, Kamala Vimala reared by wolf. Though human beings, they did not do what human beings do. They, reared, they were reared by wolves and therefore they acted like wolves. They could not speak language. They could not hold the spoon and eat. They could not stand erect only. They were walking on four limbs like wolf. So that is why personality is not personal. There is nothing personal in your personality. Personality, therefore, is social. From where you are coming, that defines who you are. 
the culture of you reflects in your personality dionysian apollonian ruth benedict then margaret mead sex and temperament in three primitive societies arapesh mundugumor chambuli so in today's class we extended with what we have done in the previous class refer to the previous class and then come to today's class will develop a continuity so in today's class we basically insisted on this dimension personality development through socialization which is nothing but an extension of the previous class next class will be done in the next week where i'll be introducing to you some other topics which is very very interesting and essential in sociology thank you all the best